You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi, friends. John Willard here. Great show today. And remember the subscribe button below for CNA TV. My opening thought. Robert Frost said, Happiness makes up in height for what it lacks in length. Robert Louis Stevenson suffered poor health from childhood until he died at age 44. But he never allowed illness to conquer his spirit. He felt that being happy was a duty and he faithfully followed a number of precepts to keep himself as happy as possible. Here they are. Make up your mind to be happy. Learn to find pleasure in simple things. Make the best of your circumstances. No one has everything, and everyone has some sorrow mixed in with the gladness of life. The trick is to make the laughter outweigh the tears. Don't take yourself too seriously. Don't think that somehow you should be protected from misfortunes that befall other people. Don't let criticism worry you. You can't please everybody. Don't let others set your standards. Be yourself. Do the things you enjoy doing, but don't go into debt in the process. Don't borrow trouble. Imaginary things are harder to bear than the actual ones. Do not cherish enmities. Don't hold grudges. Hatred poisons the soul. Have many interests. If you can't travel, read about many places. Don't spend your life brooding over sorrows or mistakes. Don't be one who never gets over little things. Do what you can for those less fortunate than yourself. Keep busy at something. A very busy person never has time to be unhappy. If you were to go around asking people what would make them happier, you would get answers like, oh, a new car, a bigger house, a raise in pay, winning the lottery, a facelift, more kids, fewer kids, a new restaurant to go to. <laughs> Probably not one in a hundred would say, a chance to help people. And yet, that might bring the most happiness of all. I don't know Dr. Jonas Salk, but after what he's done for us with his polio vaccine, if he isn't happy, he should have his brilliant head examined. Of course, not all of us can do what he did. I know I can't do what he did. He beat me to it. <laughs> the point is, it doesn't have to be anything that extraordinary. It can be working for a worthy cause or forming a needed service, or just doing something that helps another person. We really need only five things on this earth. Some food, some sun, some work, some fun, and someone. You can multiply happiness by dividing it. There should be no wins or ifs 
about the pleasure in our lives. We should not be saying, when I win the state lottery or when I hit the jackpot in Las Vegas or Atlantic City. We should not be counting on ifs. If I get that promotion or if I'm lucky, you can't count on these things. There's plenty of pleasure in the here and now. Somebody once said that happiness is like a butterfly. Chase it and you'll never catch it. Stand still where you are and it will light on your shoulder. Even when they find it, some people can't live with happiness. After a great success, instead of just relaxing, they develop anxiety and worry about lawsuits, accidents, the Eternal Revenue Service, <laughs> and other things. They keep looking for failure. Spread happiness where you go, not when. Look for pleasure, not pain. Find pleasure in little things. Friends, good food, sunshine, flowers, laughter, and service to others. Learn that happiness is, for the most part, internal. It's a gift you give to yourself, not just at birthdays or anniversaries, but all year round. My closing thought, the secret of happiness is not in doing what one likes to do, but in liking what one has to do. Friends, as always, you can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47 And just a reminder, I'll be speaking at the end of this month at the CNA Fest in Little Rock, Arkansas. Check out our website at www.nacacna.org for more info. Love to see you there. This is John Willard from The Farm.